Okay, we're back in Sweden, going for a run. What a beautiful morning. There's Sir Rawson, or well, well, the end of it. Magical. That's where I just came from. Okay, today I'm gonna go and buy a bandsaw and we're gonna move a whole load of wood that was cut down last time and we're gonna chip it all up tomorrow to use in the gardens and then on Thursday we're gonna go and collect the rest of the wood for the gatehouse, the cladding. So that's the next few days. Please subscribe. It's great to be back here. What a beautiful morning. Okay, let's go and buy a bandsaw. Well, here it is, sitting on the trailer. And there's Eddie. And now we're gonna somehow get it off and put it in the messy workshop. Let's see. The vegetable patch has turned into a jungle while we were away, but it has been quite a success for sure. The carrots are pretty big, the beetroots are huge, zucchini over there looking good. The spinach has gone mental, so that's, uh, that's a bit of a shame, can't really eat that anymore. But yeah, we've got loads of courgettes slash zucchini mangold looking good parsley thyme so we'll try and weed this later and then we're going to cut all the grass we're going to gather all the wood and we're going to go and get a whole load of more branches from next door as well and then tomorrow we will chip it all up and make lovely wood chips okay slight change of plan we both got our noise cancelling headphones. We've decided we have here a roll of uh, silage tarp known as plan pseudoplast in Sweden. And uh, we've uh, decided we're gonna actually lay it down now over quite a large bit of this garden. Just to, uh, we're gonna leave it for two years basically and it will rot everything down and give us a beautiful uh, weed free smell to start growing in and then tomorrow that pile of branches along with loads more from down there and loads from the neighbor uh, is all going to be chipped up and we can put it on top and that'll be a good place to keep it and we can cover it and hopefully it won't rot down too much I guess the bottom the bottom will get a bit wet but it should be okay so that's the plan we're gonna do that right now and then we're gonna cut some grass and get some wood. Let's do it, Eddie. Let's do it. We need a good overlap. 
Okay, we, uh, we were a little hasty and lazy. So I'm gonna cut the grass a bit at the bottom because it's just a bit too long. And I already put a little hole in the plastic, which isn't good. So yeah, pause, I'm gonna cut the grass. Okay, so this bit here, is it's a little lumpy and I could go and rent a rotavator and churn this all up uh, which is probably what I should do but for some reason I kind of uh, I'm just impatient that's my problem I mean I'm impatient there's a few old bits of tree stump and things here, just like an a rotten, which I think will rot down over the next year or so underneath the, the tarp. So I think I think I might just go around with the rake and the spade and just sort of try and level it off a bit. Spend I spent 20 minutes on it then it'll be a lot better than it is now and it'll save me money and it'll save me an hour going to get the road later. Down a bit. Better, fuck. There's another one. I think this is probably okay. It's got a few interesting curves. But uh, look at that sky. Yeah. Okay. I think we can roll this, this top out again. The sun's gone behind the cloud. All right. Oh, well, when did we leave it off? Yeah, we just cut some more grass, so it wasn't that interesting really, but it's looking good and uh, you'll have to take our word for it. <laughs> um, so tomorrow we're gonna, uh, oh yeah, uh, we're gonna <laughs> rent, rent the wood chipper and chip a load of wood. <laughs> Let's see it. That'll be fun as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth tuning in for. Uh, okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe by hitting the little icon below and uh, 
Lots of love. We'll see you soon tomorrow.